Hey, what's up? This is Ken from Palm Beach Dino. I wanted to let you know about a new project I have going on. Uh, recently, I bought a 2016 uh, Mustang GT performance pack, which is, of course, a stick shift. Um, I've already got the 2011 automatic car, and I figured why well, I have two automatics. Also, there's not too many people pushing the stick shift cars uh, to good ETs, so I wanted to do a little bit of double duty uh, with that choice. Um, and when it came to picking power at our brands, as you can see here, Whipple's my first choice for a setup like this, especially a stick shift car, but really any car. Uh, the Whipple package is great. Um, let me tell you a little bit about, uh, about the plans for the um, project first. The idea here is the majority of shop cars out there get the car, put crazy amounts of money into it, you get the final version of the car, it goes and runs a nine, or whatever it runs, and that's great. There's really no journey with the car, there's no idea of how exactly you got there, or it doesn't follow the path of a typical uh, modification uh, path for most customers. So I'm going the exact opposite. I'm gonna do it painfully slow as far as mods. So the very first version of what we have here will be the base supercharger Whipple with the stock throttle body, you know, intercooler fans, the basic setup on a bone stock car. And what we're gonna do along the way is we will track all the costs on the car. Everything from the parts to the labor, everything. Uh, the only thing we're gonna leave out is any cosmetic type stuff. Um, I'm putting black lug nuts on the car. I'm not gonna include that in the cost. The supercharger is painted. I'm not gonna include that in the cost. It's going to be a roadmap for performance. So it will include the retail prices you can buy these parts from me, or if I don't sell a certain part, you know what the typical retail price is, and it's going to show retail labor for Rarefab, who is our uh, shop partner, uh, which is next door to us, and they are continuing to do a ton of work for Palm Beach China, and we're working real closely together, so we can offer some turnkey packages for you. Um, send us the car. Rarefab, I sell you the kit. Rarefab puts it on. We bring it over here to the dyno, get it tuned up, turnkey, no hassle. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the kit and exactly what comes with it and the different options available. Uh, as you see here, this is the 2.9 liter front feed Whipple. Um, I've always loved Whipple superchargers, but this particular blower being the front feed setup on the Mustang uh, really has gotten my attention since it came out. Uh, I really like it a lot. Um, as you can see here, since the inlet is on the front, you have a direct shot right into the supercharger rotors. That's huge. Um, now, this comes to the first option, the major option for most people. Um, as you can see here, this is not gonna fit a stock throttle body. This is designed for Whipple's throttle body. And uh, ultimately, a lot of people, or most people, might end up with this setup. But as a way to save a little bit of money, or if you're not after every little bit of horsepower, Whipple makes a bracket here, which is how we sell our base kit that puts this on and allows you to uh, bolt on the stock throttle body. Um, even with the base pulley, the base kit, typically we still see uh, 600 rural horsepower to the car in this setup, but as, you'll, as you know, with this project, we'll see that. We're gonna put this on, my car, uh, base setup with our uh, remote tune. Uh, obviously, I'll be tuning it on the dyno, but it will be comparable with uh, you know, the timing and the air fuel we run on, on the remote tunes. Um, so that's the first major option there uh, for most people. Um, what it does come standard with is a very large heat exchanger, as you can see here, a very nice intercooler tank, and intercooler pump. Now, as you can see, I keep saying very nice, very nice, very nice, and that's another big reason that I like Whipple. Um, there's lots of ways to make horsepower. You can make horsepower cheap, or you can make it uh, expensive, or you can make it right. And I think Whipple does it right. Um, there's ways they could probably save money in this kit, but they didn't. Uh, here's a good example of the hoses. This looks like an OEM hose because it pretty much is other than it's Whipple's hose. So most of their hoses, I think all of them, everything's plug and play, OEM quality. Um, as you can see here, they're all crimped connections. There's no po uh, possible chance of them coming apart. Uh, they even come with their own <coughs> billet fuel rails which a lot of people you know, go and uh, do a, a separate upgrade for something like this. They come with the Whipple Supercharger. Uh, as you can see, everything's very nicely machined. I mean, I don't really have a single complaint about it. You know, their pulleys are nice. There's, there's not a cheap part on the car. 
One other important feature of this kit that I really like, even though I'm not doing the install myself, Rarefab will be doing the install, is all of the bags are clearly marked as you can see here. It tells you exactly what's in the bag, the part number, how many there are. Every bag is this way. Every bag has a label on it. It looks like it's initial to check to make sure it was packaged correctly. Uh, obviously there's a lot more bags than this included in the kit. I just wanted to kind of show you this stuff as an example. So from here, we're going to take the car and all this stuff over to Rarefab. They're going to get the install done. And then the next time you see me, we'll be doing uh, some dyno work and see what power it makes on the base one kit.